What is urban agriculture? Urban agriculture is about growing plants, fish, and livestock in or around towns or cities. There are many different types of urban agriculture projects around the world. Range from low-tech community to medium-tech projects like urban farms using aquaphonics, hydrophonics, and aerophonics. So why do we need to think about urban agriculture? The global population is growing and the people need increases that also increase pressure on our land. Climate change affects what we can grow and we need to reduce the amount of energy in water that we use. We need to find new place, new ways to produce food sustainability to make sure everyone has an access to safe and healthy food all the time. Urban agriculture can create new use for abandoned buildings, planting on unoccupied rooftops, grow foods closer to where we can consume it, so we can eat it fresh, reduces the cost of transportation, and lower our carbon footprints. Many urban agriculture projects provide education, training, and employment opportunity for local people. Hydrophonics is a type of gardening without soil. Water delivers nutrients to the plant soil, typically in a nutrient-rich solution. The benefits are faster growth cycle, reduce resource waste, and increase yield. The proposed project was located at San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, a first-class component of city of Bulacan, has 574,089 people, making it the largest LGU within Bulacan. The site was strategically located on which it is within the border of Caloacan going to Quezon City, Rodriguez Rizal, Santa Maria, Marilao, and Dorsagaray. The project named Sibol or Pagsibo represents the vision of the project to be the future and model of modernized farm. The concept of the project was biomimicry to innovations inspired by nature as one which studies nature and imitates or takes inspiration from the design and process to solve human problem, model, measure, and mentor towards sustainability. The design philosophy is simply applied by designing in the present with the relevant of the past and considering the future. Inside concept, the rotating lines set the adjacency and boundary of different side elements, while the curve and nest lines guide the circulation and free harmonious flow inside the structure. Here are the consideration takes place. Orientation of the building, considering the users, circulation within spaces, Ability of space to maximize its use, providing equal access to everyone, to provide needs of local, should follow standard building costs. Stability of the building, providing solution, providing good planning inspection within the vicinity. The form was inspired by Sibol or Sprague, true to its function as a bridge between architecture and farming. Curve line symbolizes the intention to harmonize the building to its natural environment. It is an inside lot with a total area of 15,245 square meter, on which it is a relatively flat surface and classified as agrotourism hub based on the zoning ordinance of San Jose del Monte Pulacan. The Northeast Monsoon and the Southwest Monsoon. From the East to West, Sanpai. Noises are coming from the front of the site, which is from Tanawan Road. A road network going to Tungkung Manga and going to ABS property. The commercial area, Agritech Exhibition Hall, Vertical Farm, Greenhouse, Dormitory, 
Fair Health, Research Center and Training, Amphitheater, Restaurant, Central Park, Deliberate Drug Parking, Utilities, Drop Off, Parking Spaces, Two Entrance from Northeast, and Three Exit at Southern Park. Incorporating modernism as an approach to their new technology of farming to the character of the building brings a setting to it as a Vertical farming is brought in the urban space by employing the concept of indoor agriculture in skyscraper and other modern buildings. Hydrophonics, aquaphonics, and aerophonics. For the material use, ACP aluminum composite extremely lightweight but strong and rigid. Photovoltaic glass provides clean green energy. Perforated metal panels and insulated glass. The development consists different environmental systems such as rainwater harvest, vertical garden, solar panels, green roof, perforated metal panels, vertical farm, Photovoltaic glass and grass creek. Basement for parking in commercial areas. On ground floor, you can find commercial area, organic market, the exhibit, admin, training, and the main utility. And on second floor, more commercial spaces, research office, agri-tech, exhibit hall, and training workshop. And for third floor, last floor area for commercial spaces, you can also have research offices, experimental growing area, training growing area, and the agri-tech exhibition hall. And for the typical floor plan, of fourth floor, fifth floor, and sixth floor, which has growing area, research offices, and control. And lastly, the roof deck, which has the green roof, solar panel, and utility. For development control, the total lot area of the site is 50,245 and the allowable percentage of site occupancy is 80% and as is planned, 24,380. The maximum allowable in purpose surface area is 15% on which as planned, is 7,215 while the allowable construction area is 47,732.75 while as planned it is 31,595 unpaved service area should be 5% while as planned it is 18,000 650 and for total open space within lot should be 20% on which as planned 25,865 while the allowable maximum building footprint is 31,595 it shows that the total project development cost will be 
1.2 billion. From the return of investment, we are expected to earn from the Agritech Exhibit Hall, Commercial Spaces, Exhibit and Conference, Dormitory, Training and Workshop, Leasable Tents, Research Product, and the Harvested Crops. The return of investment of this proposed vertical farm and the research center will be in 5 to 6 years.